It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the E-Commerce Minute is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back in business in no time. And for being a loyal E-Commerce Minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you'll never overpay. Save time and money on mailing and shipping with SendPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping. Calculate exact postage online and print labels right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 532. In today's episode, Google launches shopping portal. It feels like Google and Amazon have been aggressively trying to one-up each other forever. This time, Google is making moves to grow its presence as a key player in the e-commerce field. Google's new shopping page is now officially live for users in the United States. Google's new offering personalizes shopping suggestions for users based on their web activity, directing shoppers to purchase products through the Google site, a third-party site, or in-store. Shopping.google.com's revamped look features a personalized homepage that greets users by name with the message, let's go shopping, and tailors results to fill the user's preferences. The shopper can filter results based on feature, product category, theme, such as summer products, or a retailer. For example, a shopper looking for headphones can filter results based on a feature like wireless and a brand like Apple. Once a shopper narrows their search to a single product, they can view product information, including product reviews and videos, which retailers up to Google in its merchant center. When the shopper is ready to buy, they can select where they want to purchase online on the retailer's e-commerce site, in a nearby store, or directly on Google. Google won't start warehousing or shipping products, but they will offer the buy with Google guarantee on certain products, which will refund customers if they don't receive accurate orders or if their order is incorrect. The new platform is live for users who are signed into their Google accounts. And if you visit Google Shopping signed out, it will display the Google Shopping search engine page. We'll keep an eye on whether or not this proves to advance Google in the race for e-commerce dominance. Have you guys looked at this? The good old Google shopping feeds. I I think it it looks pretty good now. Yeah, it it does look pretty good. Let's go shopping, Brittany. I thought that was really cool. I gasped. (laughs) I was like, who, me? (laughs) (laughs) You love me. You really love me. I love love attention. Thank (laughs) you, Google. (laughs) Uh, So I, I took this thing for a whirl. It's funny how... As Brittany said, like mine says, let's go shopping, John. And it has categories, electronics, home and garden, health and beauty, toys and games, grocery, household supplies. And you can do a view all and it'll open up and show you many, many more categories. The design is very clean, but Google has seemed to dominate on that. Um, but it's called material design, right, Bart? Yep. The Google material design it looks really great. The design kind of reminds me a little bit of the colors they picked, oddly like eBay, but I'm sure they're trying not to emulate eBay. But once you start looking and shopping around, the shopping experience is actually really, really good. I don't know if you guys can see. You can explore stores. So those stores, I think they're pre-populated based on what it thinks I like. Is that correct, Brittany? Yeah. Well, it is Google, so it better be. (laughs) I was going to say, if it doesn't know what I like, there's a problem here. (laughs) Yeah, they'd be not. Although I like how they do like other options across the web. You can buy it from... This is this is kind of cool. Yeah, it has like all these these things. Now, do you can you check out from multiple stores at the same time? Oh, I didn't try that. I just tried to buy some bread because that's just the first thing I clicked on. And I <laughs> I know, but I wonder if you can. Yeah. That means it. Now you can link an account. I know they're sorry, guys. We're doing this live. No, it, it's actually I, I hadn't even considered that because, because I because you can link kind of, your. Yeah, your target account to it. Let's see. Um, I'm going to test this live because if it is, that means all of a sudden you just have a universal checkout, mm-hmm. which everybody has always wanted and nobody has come up with a creative solution ever. Mm-hmm. So now if this is actually working, I know. I literally just bought things that I have no idea. The checkout. This is interesting. Oh, wow. Yep. It's actually universal checkout. Boom. 
Wow. Wow. Bill. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry we did this live, but this is a universal so check out all of a sudden. Breaking news. Breaking news, people. <laughs> Nah, it's a pretty good experience. I, I actually might start using this. I think it's pretty cool. It's cool, right? And I feel like Google have been trying for a long time to really get into Yeah, so I believe, yeah, I mean, believe it's integrated fully into the feeds and things like that. So that's that's what's happening with it. Because, um, like, they tested out these capabilities when they would, like, recommend products on, like, YouTube and stuff like that. Yep. Interesting. Making that data work. Yeah. Good for you, Google. We'll snap for Google today. <laughs> we'll drag them today. That's yeah, we the- won't drag. <laughs> we'll let them keep their wigs on at Google headquarters today. <laughs> <laughs> their wigs on. <laughs> their wigs. Sorry, guys. All We're right. Uh, let's do a little stat time. Amazon is still the top spot where consumers go to first looking for products online with 49% of customers selecting Amazon. 28% chose Amazon because of his experience and easy to use navigation. Now, folks, I would urge you to give Google Shopping Portal a try because let me tell you, it's clean and it's mean. And yes, it's Google, but you know what? You shop at Amazon too, so hush your mouth. 36% of consumers say they look to search engines to find products first. Okay, so there you go. So what Google is going to do is they're going to put their face right in front of you and say, why don't you check out the Google Shopping first before you go shopping around? Because let me tell you, it's if even if you, okay, well, so let's pretend, pretend it's, my, it's my mother. Okay, she's 75. So I go, Mom, go buy something on here. She wouldn't know the difference that these are 15 different stores. She would just say, I would just say, go find me applesauce. And she would find it and be able to purchase it. I think that's how easy they've kind of made this. And as Bart said, now with a universal checkout, this is going to break down a lot of barriers with some of these uh, retailers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they have all these stores. That's really cool. It's very cool. Hmm. All right, Brittany, why don't you tell us about today's sponsor? Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler than with SemPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SemPro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk and you're back to business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you never overpay. So save time and money on mailing and shipping with SendPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can also qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping, calculate exact postage online, and print labels and stamps right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound skill to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of SemPro Online from Pitney Bowes. So Google still has a long way to go. Google shopping ads produced 63% of the retailers total Google search ads clicks in the second quarter, but Amazon sponsored products conversion rate is 240% higher. Than Google wow. Shopping yeah. Ads. I mean, that's and sponsored yeah. brands is sponsored brands rate is 165% higher. Uh, okay, yeah. So. so Amazon's Amazon's like ad product is amazing internally, which is great. Um, it's still iffy, but it's it's definitely driving a lot of revenue i was just poking around you can actually link your target account and loyalty programs from costco and nike plus wow okay so yeah obviously you have your google account then it just throws everything in there huh you're just under payment and subscriptions yeah purchases so you manage purchases manage subscriptions so anything yeah anything that has whenever you see a blue buy with tag otherwise you can check out on store site so i think it's anything that has a blue so it's not full universal checkout just yet so at some point oh i see so we have the glue the little the little google price tag the little google price tag it will check you out in one place if you doesn't um it will take you to the to the individual store which is fine yeah, interesting. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of the Google tags, so I think. Well, the, yeah. I mean, you, you got to put the feed in if you sign up. I mean, why would you not, right? Right. Right. Exactly. You want, this, you want your product to be searchable everywhere. Interesting. Cool. The photography's great. Everything looks great. It's uh, it's pretty cool. So it's Google. It's shopping.google.com. Go check it out. That is your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>